welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as a machine learning based approach for crop yield prediction and fertilizer recommendation which is an IEEE 2022 conference paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project basically agriculture plays an important role in the Indian global economy not only that it also contributes the major part to the country's GDP also but due to the increasing in the human population it's also necessary to increase the productivity of the agriculture but using the traditional ways it cannot be achieved so we need to have some scientific approach for increasing the productivity in the agriculture and such a scientific method is the machine learning based approach so here in this paper the authors have implemented this machine learning based approach for crop yield prediction and fertilizer recommendation which increases the productivity of the agriculture where the yield of the crop is mainly determined based on the climatic conditions like temperature rainfall soil condition fertilizer but these are variable factors so this prediction of this thing should be very accurate one so we need to have a good machine learning based approach here in this paper the authors have used the ADA boost algorithm or model to predict the yield of the crop and also for predicting the fertilizer or recommending the fertilizer they have used the random forest approach so here in this project we need to develop two models for one for the yield of the for predicting the yield of the crop and other one for the fertilizer recommendation and they have used this adabus and random for us but as our contribution from this base paper we are enhancing the system with using the two models that is for crop yield prediction we will be using the extra trees regressor this model for this crop yield prediction and for the fertilizer recommendation we will be using Gaussian NB that is Gaussian Navy base for it so here in the crop yield prediction using the extra trees regressor we have achieved the R2 score of 99 percentage as we are using this model is a regression model we have been using this R2 score and here in the fertilizer recommendation using the Gaussian NP we have achieved the training accuracy of 100 percentage and test accuracy of the 100 percentage now coming to the data set part so here as i said we are going to develop two models we need to have some two data set that is one for the crop peel another for the fertilizer recommendation and first let me open the crop peel part and here in the crop peel part you can see the attributes like id state name so this consists of the indian states and here you can see the district name for the specific state and the crop year season crop area production and cat crop for it and uh, here in the first let us see the, about the state you can see various states in India with by like in the Manakabar Island, Andhra Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra kinds of things here and next uh, season you can see like curry, foliar, rabi so you can see the different kinds of seasons that is available and crop you can see various crops like uh, arcanet, rice, banana, cashew nut, coconut, dry ginger, sugar cane, sweet potato many many are available and kindly note that this data set is somewhat bigger data set when compared to the other which consists around 44,474 data set records so you need to have some higher system configuration like i5 processor or more and also the ram should be somewhat higher because to handle this data set because if it if it is very low and that will be memory issue and now coming to the next data set part that is for the fertilizer prediction you will be seeing what are the things available here you can see the attributes like id temperature humidity moisture soil type crop type nitrogen potassium 
phosphorus and the fertilizer name so here we have this is a smaller data set part only which consists of 99 data set records and here you can see the fertilizer name like urea dap 1435 1428 28 17 17 17 20 20 kinds of fertilizer names yet so these are uh, things about the data set part and uh, before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of the python and the libraries that is mentioned in the things so that there will not be any problem in the execution part now let us see the execution of the copy the source code location and go to the command prompt now go to the source code location and type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for a few minutes And after some time you can see the URL just copy this URL and go to any of your browser I'm going to Firefox now you can paste the URL that you copied and click enter and now you can see the home screen will consider the project the project title a machine learning based approach for crop yield prediction and fertilizer recommendation and as I intimated we have been two model for this and one is for the uh, crop yield and fertilizer recommendation and first let me go to the crop yield prediction you can see both the menus in the header part and first let me click the crop yield prediction now and now it will be navigated to the login page and kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button once the login is successful you can see this login success message and click ok now it will be navigated to the upload part where you need to upload the crop yield data set because we have two data sets so you should not change and upload the data set so check the data set before uploading so just go to the source code location and you can see the exact data set and upload it and then click the upload button So once the data set is uploaded, you, it will be navigated to the preview part where you can see the data set that we have uploaded with the details of the ID, state name, district name, crop year, season, crop, area, production, cat crop, etc. And you can see the complete data set has been loaded into the preview part which consists of around 44,474 data set records. And now you can click the click to try not test button. And after few seconds you can see this training finish message and click OK. And now it will be navigated to the important part that is the prediction part of it where you need to enter the test case details one by one and check the crop yield prediction. So here um, let me show you with a few cases by entering the details where the uh, state name, season, crop, area and production. So first let me go with the class Maharashtra season as Karif crop type as Hahar or Tur and area is 69,200 and now let us check the prediction result for this by clicking the predict button now and now you can see the prediction result is like production would be around 2900 kgs and yield would be 0 0.4 that is around 0 0.404 kgs per acre and now let me go to the prediction menu again to check with the other case so just click the prediction menu again and now let me enter the case with the state name Tamil Nadu season as a whole here and crop type as maize and area as 2014 and click the predict button and now you can see the prediction result that is production would be around 5653 kgs and yield would be around 2.81 kgs per acre so this is the prediction result for the test case that I have entered let me go to the prediction menu again because I wanted to enter the other case with the state name Andhra Pradesh 
and season rabi crop as rice and uh, area 6553 and now let us check the prediction result for this and the production would be around 14377 kgs and yield would be 2.1939566274 kgs per acre and now let us go to the next test case by checking the prediction menu and let me enter the state as Andhra Pradesh again and now let me enter the season as Karif and uh, crop type as mango and uh, area as 6088 and now let us check the prediction result for this case and the prediction result is like uh, the production would be 46,957 kgs and yield would be 7.7130420499397 kgs per acre and for the scenario I have shown you the four cases and you can check with the other cases because there are lots of data in it so we cannot show you all the things because in the crop type you can see there are various crops available uh, there are lots of crops available like acnet, uh, other curry place rice, banana, cashew nut, coconut, dry ginger, sugar can, sweet potato, black pepper, dry chilies, turmeric, maize. So there are many lots of data available in it. So I cannot show you with the, all the things. So you check the things one by one by the, from the data that is given in the test case or from the data set that we have trained up with. So you can see those. Uh, crop types that is listed over one by one in a drop down list so these are the things that is available so you can check with the cases that is available and now let me move to the next part by logging out this and go to the fertilizer prediction part or the fertilizer recommendation part so just click this menu and it will be navigated to the login page for the first laser recommendation where you can see the login page this is also a static login page as intimated earlier this does not contain any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin as we did for the crop yield prediction part so just enter the admin admin and then click the login button and once the login is successful it will be it will be showing the login success message and click ok and now it will be navigated to the upload part where you need to upload the data set so now we need to upload the fertilizer data set as we have uh, shown in the earlier thing so select like the exact data set part and then click this upload button once the data set has been uploaded it will be navigated to the preview part where you can see the data set that we have uh, uploaded with the details of the data set temperature humidity moisture soil type crop type nitrogen potassium phosphorus and the fertilizer name with the different types of fertilizers and so just scroll down the until the end of the page and you can see the different fertilizer name that we have mentioned as earlier so till till end of the page you can see the 99 data set record has been loaded into the preview part now click the click to train or test button now after a few seconds you can see the training finish message and click ok now it will be navigated to the fertilizer protection part where you need to enter the test cases for this and then find the fertilizer for it so let me enter a test case with a temperature of 26 humidity with 52 moisture with 38 soil type as sandy crop type as maize nitrogen as 37 potassium as 0 phosphorus as 0 and now let us click the predict button and now you can see the prediction result is urea so this is the recommended fertilizer for this type and let me enter the prediction menu again to check with the other case though now for this case let me enter the temperature as 27 humidity as 54 moisture 28 soil type clay crop type pulses nitrogen 13 
and uh, potassium is 0 and phosphorus is 40 so now let us check the prediction result for this case and the predicted result is the DAP fertilizer and now let me go to the next part by clicking the prediction menu and let me enter the final case with the temperature of 34 humidity 65 moisture 45 soil type as clay crop type as paddy nitrogen as 6 and potassium 19 and phosphorus as 21 now let's select the prediction result for this by clicking the predict button and now you can see the prediction result is 10 26 26 is the fertilizer so you can check with the other cases from the test case or the data set that we have trained up with as there are um, many other types of uh, fertilizers available with the different crop types and soil types that is available and now let us move to the next part that is the performance analysis part so in the performance analysis part we can see the performance analysis parameters like recall f1 and precision values so these recall f1 and precision performance analysis parameters are being measured from the data set records like uh, the fertilizer classes 10, 26, 26, 14, 35, 14, 17, 17, 20, 20, 28, 28, DAP kinds of thing then uh, in the thing ne ne next performance analysis parameter after the next performance analysis parameter you can see the confusion matrix with the true and the predicted label for it now let us move to the next part that is the chart part where you can see the chart this is also a static chart because we are not using database in the project as intimated so this chart has been depicted from the data set that we have trained up with which consists of the fertilizers that we have used for it the percentages of the fertilizer class like 10 26 26 14 35 14 17 17 17 20 28 28 28 dap urea these are things that is being depicted in this chart part and now let me log out and this is all about the project a machine learning based approach for crop yield prediction and fertilizer recommendation and thank you all for watching